Hey everyone, Round of Outdoors. So in my series on stoves today, I'm going to do something completely random and different. I'm going to check this uh, hand warmer out. I was telling a friend about it at Scouts on Friday and he said I should do a video on it. So here we go. Um, it's a really nice little warmer. Uh, this is it. It's uh, You light that and put fuel in there and it goes for like 12 hours it keeps your hands really warm it's a really nice comforter it's really nice just to have in your pocket when you when you're cold when it's out when you're outside uh, nice little uh, comfort blanket kind of thing so yeah i'll just quickly take you through it this is a catalytic burner uh, when you take the cover off that's it looks like um fiberglass uh, it's a catalytic burner so it, it lights and it keeps burning um, so I'll take you through it. It comes with a little pourer. So you use just normal lighter fluid. So it's basically refined petrol. Um, so it's, it's got a halfway line along there. So you pour it in. You can see that. I'm going to pour it to the halfway line. And then halfway means six hours burn time. So got to be careful with it, it's flammable liquid obviously. So I'm going to pour the liquid into the burner. So it's the compartment underneath, you can't actually access it. It's not like a Zippo lighter where you can access with the wadding. Well, I don't think you can anyway. You might be able to actually pull that off. I've never tried, but um, well, I think I've tried and it is, it's pretty solid in there. It might come out. Um, let me just check that. Because it needs, you need to um, replace the wadding, I would presume, every so often. It does look like it does come out. It's probably going to take a lot of getting out, so I won't bother. So once you've put the fluid in, you've got a little rubber stopper. little rubber stopper. And there's the hole that the petrol's gone in. So there, that looks like fiberglass as well. It's probably not fiberglass, because it would warm you, surely, if it, it was. So then you put the little catalytic burner, which I think it lasts about 100 burns, that little piece there. That, that's it. So you can re get replacement heads, like the burner bit. So I'm just going to light it. You don't always know when it's lit. I like to give it a good burst of flame. Probably just like this. And you can't really see it. You know, when it's light, you can't see it when it's lit or not so you do have to be careful I'm going to take that that it's lit I think if it's dark you can just slightly see it burning red so with the holes obviously that supplies the oxygen little holes there and they're in the top and on the other side so all the way around that lets the oxygen get to it if you just leave it like that in your pocket it's going to get too hot Okay, so you need to put it in the little bag that it comes with. So it goes in there, tighten it up, and the heat, te the temperature does fluctuate sometimes. I've found. So if it's burning really well, it'll get really nice and hot. But other times it kind of ebbs and flows. Okay, so so yeah, sometimes it's really hot. Sometimes it's it's just warm. It's not um, hot, is it? Should be. Anyway. So yeah, that's it. The old faithful uh, Zippo lighter as well. Use the same lighter fluid. I got this uh, Swan lighter fluid. It was like one pound twenty from Wilco's, which is the best um, price I can find for the lighter fluid like this. It reckon Zippo is probably the best one, but you're talking like two pound fifty pack just for one of these um, for Zippo. So yeah, Swan um, lighter fluid, extra refined. It says. So yeah, that's a quick video guys, I hope you enjoyed it, click like, subscribe and leave me a comment, let me know what you think of this video um, and what you'd like me to talk about, um, any reviews you might want me to do, let me know, uh, I'm interested to hear your thoughts, um, cheers, bye.